this is a very simple design so we can change its uh, uh, let, let's create something uh, different uh, so we are going to use this two times mm. just create this in center or we can do one thing shift and drag make a copy of it and we'll make this one and convert to editable poly and create this one a little smaller or uh, let's do one uh, something else like if we why is it not snapping mm. oh sorry it wasn't turned on so you need to use this as a base for creating its uh, pattern so and right click convert to editable spline uh, make every spline corner uh, that's because uh, I want to uh, create it uh, into a triangle so that we can properly place this one according to it so let's uh, let's do one thing select this one and there is a very uh, useful tool called ar array uh, you can use this to properly uh, set uh, different duplicates according to proper distance so I'm going to click for preview and as you can see we have y-axis here so if we increase this y-axis as you say it's uh, it's duplicating all those uh, this pattern with by taking this distance so what I'm going to do is reduce the number of counts I'm going for I think four duplicates yeah that's what that will be good and I'm going to use this and combine them and uh, into one uh, single geometry so select this one attach 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 okay and now what you can do is sh shift and drag this one to here this one to just hold on you can do it manually or uh, what you can do is go to snip setting and uh, edge in, uh, turn on uh, edge segment uh, yeah vertex check off vertex and you can place it like this uh, anyways it's not helping too much and this yeah it's good uh, to do this in the same manner doesn't it doesn't need to be a perf uh, perfect but anyways okay so that uh, so it has become much more better we can remove this uh, triangle now delete it okay uh, let's give it a material same wall material and we are going to give it uh, I think this was the material uh, fine okay uh, we're going to group them uh, first give it a material a different one okay we're going to group them group uh, we'll call it uh, desk or something like that or you can we can call it storage 
as you can see it will uh, serve as a purpose for uh, design but we can also give a proper storage here which will not be show uh, which will, will not be visible in render but uh, anyways uh, so I'm going to change its uh, color to orange or something like that uh, we are going to duplicate this one to the other side uh, the best way to duplicate uh, uh, in a symmetry is to just select that select effect pivot only and uh, center out uh, its pivot to the x axis so that's uh, that uh, by that way uh, it when whenever we will press uh, this mirror button it will uh, just uh, use that pivot to uh, copy it to uh, another side and we'll be using uh, uh, instance yeah that's good and we'll be creating one fascia for branding here so go to this select rectangle turn on snap and I'm going to use uh, vertex also so first use your vertex then use your I think one feet height will be enough so uh, extrude it um, inside which is negative and give it something like six inches yeah that will be fine and use wall material for it that we have created uh, so basically uh, most of uh, our structures are finished uh, we can do one thing is to create another design here okay so I'm going to use let's turn off grid okay I'm going to use this glass object to create uh, something like this here so that it will differentiate it uh, okay shift and uh, now what we can do is uh, we can use mirror opposite side this is going to be z axis so z axis and copy okay and we'll give it a height of uh, one inch okay and for rectangle we give it one inch and set its pivot to corner and snap it here and give it the same texture as this one also you can you, we can use orange for this blank So I think basically our modeling part is over but just we have to put some branding here. So what I'm going to do is uh, just going to create some text. Go to shapes, text and we'll be using uh, auto grid here. C click it and type whatever you want. Uh, I'm going to share the uh, type of just uh, a company logo and reduce its size uh, like 4 inches I think that will be too small so I'm going to make it 6 inches um, 8 oh sorry 8 inches yeah this is good place it just right in the center also zero out its x value so that it will be properly in center and give it an extrude of uh, mm, 0.5 inches yeah that will do we'll give it a orange color 
and let's do one thing uh, create a, uh, we can do branding on uh, this portion this portion and this portion also so we are going to copy this one shift and copy we are going to uh, instance and uh, copy it to here and place it on roughly on center of this uh, shell and bring it down a little bit oh sorry bring it a little bit down so that it will it will reside in the center of the remaining area which is left between uh, the top of the wall and shelves uh, it will look uh, better that way uh, we are going to do the same thing that we did uh, for you uh, so we are going to copy it instance and mirror it so that uh, it is it is uh, wrong right now so we are going to mirror it uh, by x y axis no copy okay snap on and snap it so our basic uh, design is ready uh, we can uh, create a few other elements also but for uh, but for the sake of this uh, I'm going for a basic uh, structure so it's not uh, okay maybe uh, in future tutorials I will do something advanced so uh, that's it for the modeling part uh, we'll be uh, in our next uh, part we'll be facing uh, uh, placing uh, mannequins and uh, what whatever else is required uh, to fill up this stall like uh, chairs and all so see you in the next video